My name is Faith Mills. I'm a graphic artist from Glenwood, Minnesota. I do pencil, ink wash, uh, which are both black and white. Then I do watercolor, pastels. Uh, pastels are soft pastels. It's like a chalk and acrylic. I think probably my favorite medium is soft pastels because they're forgiving. Um, if you make a mistake, you can go over it. Once you do watercolor, whatever is there is there. But pastels are very forgiving. I always work this way so my hands don't, if you're left-handed, you go this way. But I'm right-handed, so I'm going to go this way. So I'm going to make a neutral background, so what I'm going to do is just fill up the back. And this paper is sandpaper. It's an archival sandpaper. It's medium grade. It really grabs the pastels, so I use my fingers a lot. Um, by the time I get done, I am a mess, but it, it's a fun way of drawing. It's fun because you can really get your, you, you're almost sculpting a little bit. Once you get the pastel in there, I do a lot with my fingers. I just love Owen's Pody face. I love it. It's so serious. In art school, we had different projects, and one of them, I think it was called a cell painting. But what you do is you take a piece of clear plastic, and you're painting everything backwards. So whatever you paint on first is going to be on the top. What I did was I drew with a black marker, a thin marker, the highlights of what I would do usually on top. And then afterwards I painted over it. And then you put a background on it and you put that whole picture on top of that background. And it's amazing, it's just, it's totally backwards of how you would usually do a picture. The main place that I've done a lot of my artwork is in Mexico, where we have a small house. There is just a picture around every corner. This is an acrylic I did, and one of the streets I just love is this street. And it just happened to be that Chicho, this guy right here, was scooting his bike down the street there. That's kind of typical scene in Tiakapan. But I've also gone with my girlfriends to Europe um, we went to Italy uh, four years ago, and this year we went to Spain and France. I've done a lot of artwork from my travels, especially in Italy. I did a lot of, of Venice and, and Cinque Terre. And such a colorful country. 
I would love to go to Greece. My grandfather, when he was 11 years old, came from Greece to Ellis Island. And from Ellis Island, he got on a train with a, with a sign on his shirt that said Omaha. He had spoke no English, and he had to get to where his brother was in Omaha. And that is why I would like to go to Greece. And also, it's a beautiful country. Oh, I would make this dark here. It would be cool to be a teacher. I mean, I've taught a few classes and blend it like that. But you can start with, I would do the skin tone first. And if you could bring something out of somebody that's there already, to make them more uh, confident or, or believe in themselves, I think it's important. Art has always been a part of my life, but I didn't realize how much fun it could be until I went back to school and learned about all the different mediums. And even to this day, I am learning new things. Every day I feel like I get better. I think more practice, uh, anybody can get better. By being better, it makes it more fun. If anyone wants to really get into art, or they have a love for art, I would encourage them to just start practicing. Work in whatever you like doing, and then try different things because you might find something that you didn't realize you were really good at. But practice makes perfect.